okay I wanted to make um, this review a little bit later because I wanted to test this shoe a little bit more but I think one month is enough of time and in the end I'll tell you the reason why I'm doing this review now and not a little bit later on. So this is the Soul Runner FX trainer. Um, the Soul Runner is a German company then of course based in Europe. Uh, um, comparing this shoe with all the other barefoot um, minimalist shoes that I've tested till now I have to say that um, for me there are like four different layers of shoes different types of shoes um, being based on the amount of uh, how much you feel the ground and if let's say a regular shoe is number four the normal shoe then number three is a minimalist shoe like New Balance number two is the Vibram five finger shoe then this shoe would be the number one this shoe provides the um, the most the biggest amount of barefoot feel I've experienced till now um, after Vibram five fingers I thought that it wouldn't be possible to uh, feel the ground much more than that but uh, then I tested this shoe and uh, it has this gum uh, on as a sole and this gum is really thin and I've been constantly waiting for it to wear out or something because it seems really thin but um, one month has passed I really abused this shoe um, for lots and lots of training uh, I think I have over 100 hours of training in this shoe and the sole hasn't even worn out a little bit. It's really nice. Mm. It's the most flexible shoe that I got because uh, in this shoe I can flex my fingers downwards without a problem, even with a sock. Uh, of course, it can be rolled up this way, but then also, see, oh, this way also. Right. Um, it comes in a wide width, so when you're buying the shoe, they always they warn you and say this is extra wide. Uh, and, and on their website, this big uh, this writes with really big letters. And I thought, oh my god, this is really really extra wide. I like it, but it's just two e width. So if uh, the normal width is called B and Y width is called 2E, this is 2E, so it's not really extra extra wide, it's just wide, so it will suit anyone. Mm. This is this shoe I like um, the most for just putting it on my feet and going to work, going to training, because uh, it doesn't look weird, it looks relatively normal, right? And it's wide, my feet are very wide and um this this uh, shoe shit okay so this shoe also has a strapping system it does not have laces which is uh, which has both advantages and disadvantages of course so um you have to go somewhere you just pop this on your feet and go and just strap done run um, but since it has no laces you might get a, um, maybe you you when you use laces you get um, sometimes a better fit if the shoe is too big for you or something like that and then you tie the laces make them make the shoe snug with this you can't do that but um, on the other side it's much much faster to put on and much easier just like for idiots. <laughs> um, okay, the shoe breathes pretty well. It takes a while for it to uh, get stinky, um, but maybe for summertime I'll prefer uh, Juaraches or something like that. Um, so, Mate, why did you make this review now and not after a few more months of testing this shoe? Yeah, so um, I'm glad you asked. It's, it's because the Viva Barefoot, they have a brand new model coming out and it looks exactly like this shoe. 
exactly just in a little bit of a more bluish color and the vivo barefoot sign on its strap and um, I would like to tell you that some people at uh, my some people some of my friends they um they bought this shoe and the same day they ripped it and they were complaining how how they already ripped the shoe and I've used this shoe for over a month and I've never ripped it. Ah, so you're saying that other people at the training they uh, used this Viva Barefoot shoe for only one day and they ripped it and you haven't ripped this shoe for over a month now? And it has a thinner sole, a better barefoot feel. Interesting. <clears throat> okay, so there are um, there are some more pointers that I want to make. Uh, the first is that so the the sole runner they have their own uh, sole, their own gum. Uh, not I think they're not using Vibram. At least there's no any signature of Vibram. On the sole, uh, and I gotta say, in comparison to let's say a Vibram Cherry sole, which is often used in barefoot shoes, um, this sole is very soft and very grippy. So you will have all the grip you need. It's really nice because uh, in lots of Vibram gum, um, when especially when it's wet or there are marble tiles on the floor, I would find myself sliding more. But this sole is very soft, very enjoyable. Um, I can walk anywhere, I haven't experienced any um, any situation where I had less traction, I really like it. Um, as, as a matter of fact, I actually sometimes found it that it has maybe even too much grip, which is really nice, it's really nice to be on the other side of the spectrum. Uh, I also wanted to say that since I put on the shoe, uh, for, for the first five minutes I thought, oh my god, uh, I don't like this shoe, but then it molded to my feet and for a month now I've been using it constantly, going everywhere. Um, I really like it for training, it's awesome for parkour, for any kind of training. It's a white shoe with good grip, with a thin rubber sole and I just... I just can't find anything better except my bare feet for training. I really like it. I gotta say that um, for me this is one of the uh, best minimalist shoe going from the five fingers through New Balance Minimus and Soft Star Run um, At this moment I really like this shoe most, especially for training. Um, and we'll see how long it lasts. Maybe I make a long term update if you guys like this uh, this review. Mm, do I have anything else to say? Uh, okay, one more thing to say. Um, the Soul Runner customer service is very nice. If you have any questions, any doubts, just ask them. I'm sure they will uh, be really happy to answer because they're really nice. Uh, and uh, I would have made a video of me uh, doing some training in these shoes and maybe I do later but right now my camera is broken so yeah that sucks so I just want to say one more time this shoe is really the the only shoe in which I mean this is the shoe in which I have the best barefoot feel nothing can compare to it um, and it has also the best grip and it's nice and wide uh, and this is the the shoe that I will use mostly for my trainings I think that's it done